and welcome to a surprise middle of the week bonus fit. I'm actually going to be doing a dedicated video today specifically on how I apply my Lilac Street lashes. I have had this requested by multiple people, both Instagram, YouTube, and I just was like, you know what, instead of putting it in the middle of a freaking 30 minute vlog, why don't I just show you? So I'm going to just do a beginning to end Lilac Street lash application. If you don't know what Lilac Street is, it is lash extensions hybrid with like strip lash almost. Basically without having to go get your lashes extended for hours and hours and costing you a pretty penny. If you would rather just have some lashes that last on a budget, Lilac Street is the way to go. They're great if you're going on vacation where you're going where it's wet. If you're going to the lake, if you're going to the beach, if you're going to sweat, anything like that. These lashes are fabulous. I wouldn't swim underwater with them on for an extended amount of time because it would make the glue a little bit um, loose and I would say that they wouldn't last as long. So keeping your head out of water still, but you can s still shower with them on. I just usually avoid washing really like heavily around my eye and the lash glue is their special formula. You've got the black pro, the clear pro, and then the clear uh, brush. And this is just your typical like um, thin brush that you can glide onto the lash. And these ones are spoolies. And these were our more recent, more recent launch. Now what I'm going to do is apply a mixture of lashes. So you're going to get to see what a few of them look like. Um, they just released the Uptown lashes and I was kindly sent them. So thank you so much to Lilac Street for sending me these to try and to show you guys. These are a brand new launch. I think we might be looking forward to maybe some more, hopefully by the end of the year. Can't wait to see what they come up with because every time they launch something new, it becomes my new favorite. I would say the French Lace are probably my favorites so far and these are very similar to that, the Uptowns. The difference in all of the lashes is gonna be how many are on a little weft, how many are on the little strip, um, and just how, if they crisscross, if they're fluffy, if they're longer, if they curl, there's just so many different variations. So it's really finding what works for you and your face. Um, for me, I like to switch it up. So I wear all different types. I started off with the originals. I would recommend most people who are trying them out to get yourself the originals. And then they go in a size or length. So you can get longer, the, the higher up the number goes, the longer and more dramatic the lash is gonna be. I personally go for drama, so I like them to be pretty big and bold, but I'm gonna get you close. And we're zooming, and we're zoomed. I do like to use a 10, a 10 times um, close-up mirror if you have one, you know, even just like a compact mirror just something that's a little closer up So you can really get in there and see where you're placing it something else I do too before I apply them I do like to curl my lashes just because I want to make sure that they Have something to grab onto and they're already like molded into the shape that I want my lashes to go the direction that I want them to go I don't ever use an entire one. I usually have one to two left depending on the lash because of the length of my lid. So it means that I have leftovers and I can usually make myself a little Frankenstein lash where I can mix some of my favorite ones together to get a nice fan. So I'm gonna do that today. I have some 16s in the midnight lashes. So I'm gonna take the longest length lash and stick that on the out on the outer edge and then I'm gonna use my uptowns which are new and I'm gonna blend that into it next to the midnights and then I'm gonna use feather <laughs> you're really getting to see all the different types of lashes that lilac street carries I always put the sleeves back on so I know which is which because I want to know which ones are my favorites and then finish it off with the rest of my uptown 12s so I usually can do about four across my lid, but everybody's lids are different, like I said. So your your space on your eyelid is gonna be different than mine. I, ha I miss them when I don't have them on. I feel naked when I don't have them on. Once you go lilac, you never go back. <laughs> oh my God, I coined that term, you guys, it's mine. <laughs> you have to quote me on that, <laughs> quote me on that. 
once you go lilac you never it's true though like once you start it's addictive you get the originals you get the lash and you get their very very important tool the the applicator this one is different than your typical lash applicator it's got a really fine point and it's really great for getting in there and it helps you separate the lash i have other various types of lash applicators and the tips are fatter and they're just not as precise i wouldn't recommend tweezers you really need it to be at this angle so just get the original pack first just get the first starter kit so you can get going if you're new to this. Um, I do have a discount code. I'm gonna keep putting it below so that you guys know, but click the link below. I would really appreciate it if you use my link instead of Googled, just because that helps me out, lets them know that I'm sending you guys to them. But uh, with that said, let's get going and start off with the Pro Lash, black Pro Lash Glue. So I'm gonna start with my Midnight Lash. Like, as I said, it's a 16 millimeter on the outer edge. And what you wanna do first is take the spoolie wand and try to avoid your lower lash because if it gets glue on it, it's gonna start sticking to everything you do and get in your way. And you wanna go from the root, as close to the root as you can. Another reason why I use a magnifying mirror Oh, see, I've got a hair with glue on it, but it's not attached to my head. Just getting it on the lash, and also, I like to use a spoolie one because I like to brush the lashes and fan them out a little bit. And then once that's on there, it's fine that it's drying as you're going, but I do tend to move quicker now that I've gotten this down pretty good. You wanna roll the lash off of the tray. Hold it as if you're gonna place it in and then I also just spin the spoolie onto the base of the lash. And I think this is what causes me to be able to wear them. <laughs> Am I crossing my eyes? I can wear them for so much longer because I just really get them glued. <laughs> like big time, not messing around. And get it at a good angle because you'll frustrate yourself if you don't. And you just go underneath. See, you gotta kind of tilt it a little bit because I don't want them to be crooked. And then stick them to the root. Sometimes I'll go a little bit below the root and push them up into place. So that I know it's truly grabbing onto the hair and not my skin. I say keep a towel on hand too, just to make sure that you can get any glue on this off because it will start, it's a pretty strong glue, so it'll start pulling on things, drive you nuts, I swear. So once you get it in place on the lash root, just squeeze it. And that just makes them melt together. And there's your first one. I'll say when I first started this, <laughs> Ooh, I had some trouble. You'll get you'll get better as time goes on, I promise. At first though, it's a little challenging. All right, now I'm gonna do my Uptown 14 millimeter. Next, and that's gonna go down one level in length. And stick that to the root of your lash. And then you'll go in again and squeeze it. Next, the feathers in 14s. Again, this is like my Franken lash. They, it, they look fine though. At first I was like, oh, that's gonna look weird. It totally doesn't. Um, they blend together beautifully, so nothing goes to waste. If you do place an order using my link, 10% um, off is available, so use the code. There's a code below, so 10% off. So that's already like so affordable and then you can get it for 10% off. So that'll be like, what, six bucks for lashes that last you an entire week as opposed to like, think about what we spend on premium lashes and they last you one day. But see how quickly it starts to roll along. It gets faster. And then I'm taking the Uptowns in the 12s. So these are gonna have a similar fluffiness as the 14s, but just a little bit shorter. 
and all right so I'm gonna do the other side you guys saw what I just did and I'll be back to give you a little bit of care information because that is actually a big part of how they last welcome back that took me about five minutes okay so how I care for mine the first thing I do after I apply my lash is pop on a little bit of this this is the lash crystal coat this stuff you don't think you need it until you use it and then you use it and you're like that was super helpful so this is essentially just almost like your setting spray it's just gonna set the lash so that it will last a little bit longer. It takes all the goopy gluey feels off so it doesn't stick to your lower lash while it's setting and drying. I would say it takes some time for that tackiness to really go away, almost like 24 hours. I mean, it's, it's not tacky the whole time, but you can tell you just put on some freshies. You know what I mean? And that feeling will go away, usually in the morning, is when I feel like they feel like they're truly set in and then like i said for cleaning and washing around i would use either just a damp washcloth that's been ringed out so it's not sopping wet or lifesaver the face halo sponges are ideal those things get in there perfectly around you can kind of like scrub up and down around that area without um, using any sort of makeup remover because those things take off makeup without having to use a cleanser so i would say stay away from oil-based anything i do tend to wear most often little eyeshadow sticks they're just so handy you can do your foundation once I get my eyebrows like microbladed, that's gonna be one less step. Put on some foundation, something on your lips, and a little bit of um, either of these. This is the Dazzle Lash by KVD, and this is the um, Laura Mercier, let's see, what color are you? Metallic Tote Caviar Stick. Those things are fantastic. If you're in a hurry and you just wanna do something really pretty on the eye, a statement, it's still, they're so bright. Actually, I'll do one right now because I just realized I saved that for this. And I just try not to hit the lash with it. Pop that over top and then I take a brush. Did you see that or did I just cover it up? I might have covered it up, so I'm gonna do it again on the other side. But that is the quickest way to do my eyeshadow. I'll take bronzer and I'll go across my eye with the bronzer and then I pop that over top. People compliment you. They're like, wow, your eyeshadow is so pretty. And it's like, they have no idea that that took you under a minute <laughs> to do your eye makeup. So you can use any type of eyeshadow stick that you like. It's just that I really like these really champagne-y toned ones because they just look so pretty on the eye. They look great in photographs. They look great when you're outside because they catch the light. And then you've got these long wispy lashes and you can do it every day. That just blows my mind. You can look like a goddess in minutes. I mean, not that you don't really look like a goddess. You can look like an elevated goddess. There you go. You're elevated. Goddess 2.0. There we go. <laughs> Um, so that's it. Pretty, huh? I do also have a blog post, so if you would like to read up on it or if you forgot anything and you don't want to watch the entire video, go to the blog post. You can just read the steps really quickly. It'll help you kind of guide a little bit in, in what you're doing, but they're pretty easy to do. Um, if you're not finding that they're lasting you the five to seven days, there is something probably likely that you're not doing right because I have dry skin and dry hair and they last me forever but my sister-in-law who turned me on to lilac street is a nurse and she wears face gear all day and she wears these and she has a uh, combo skin and hers last her just as long so if either of us can make it last i feel like anybody can so there's got to be something that's not going right if they're not lasting you at least five days so Yay! There's your Lilac Street as requested. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I've said that twice now. Please subscribe if you're not already. I hope you like this and I'll do more little dedicated videos. I think they're kind of fun. And I'll see you guys on my blog this weekend. All right.
Bye-bye.